For us, we uh, had very high powered jobs living in London, which we decided to quit. So this is our riches to rags story. Sam and I spent seven months traveling around America, learning how to do American barbecue. We went from the California to the Carolinas and everywhere in between. At that time as well, we were busking musicians. So Sam played the banjo and harmonica. Badly. I played guitar and sang. So we busked our way across America until we ended up in Nashville. We lived in Nashville for three months and then used that as a base to, to, to discover those southern states. In all honesty, before we came along, there wasn't that many pop-up scenes uh, or many food offerings popping up in Cardiff at all. Um, mm. We saw that as an opportunity to really stamp our mark and, you know, and show people that you can be creative with food and not have to own bricks and mortar. What we really like about the pop-up model is as opposed to sitting in a restaurant waiting for people to come to you, you can take your food to the people. And it also gives us an opportunity to pop up in different guises at different times. So whether that be in a pub or whether that be in a rock club in town or whether that be at the Motley Movies and open air cinema, uh, it gives us that agility to move around. Uh, this is a general rub that we use all on our, all our pork shoulders. So we'll have 50% brown sugar, 50% salt. We love a little cinnamon. Uh, you need paprika for colour. You can see I've made this so many times I don't need to measure anything out anymore. We have a little chilli powder, the obligatory garlic powder, some cracked black pepper. This gives a real bite. And finally, we'll do some onion powder. Best way to do always with a rub is just get it in there with your hands. As soon as you've done this, you can store it in a jar or rub it straight on your pig. This has been smoking for about 21 hours now. It should look like a meteorite when it comes out, which it certainly does. Uh, but inside is soft, unctuous, smoked meat. So what we would do with this is we would take it to a table, gently open it apart, take out any connective tissues or collagen, so we're just left with pure meat. The slow and low cooking style is uh, synonymous with the south of America. It's the people's food. Traditionally, it was taking cheaper cuts of meat, digging a hole in the ground, smoking it slow and low for a long period of time so that you end up with something that's really tender, really moist. We've had a, a great response to, to us, you know, and people are kind of super passionate as well about food and provenance and, you know, and something good coming. When you introduce new ideas and concepts to people in Cardiff, they're very excited to get involved. They've been very passionate about us. I think people in Cardiff have bought into our backstory. Two girls obsessed with American barbecue, bringing meat to the people, and it's been received really well. Thank you.